Literally before I say anything, I just wanted to point it out. I have this bump on my lip and I literally hate it. So just pretend like it's not there for the rest of the video because I'm really insecure about it. So just wanted to throw that out there and date the obvious before I get all these comments about it. So. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Sam. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. So before I start, you guys may have already seen my first video about the iOS 14 update, which was me explaining how to customize your phone and make it aesthetic with the widgets and customizing your app icons. And that video kind of blew up and I was not expecting it to whatsoever. So I decided to make another video explaining to you guys all of the new hidden features that I myself didn't even know about when it first came out and once I discovered them I was like oh my god I'm literally in love with these new things that we can now do on our iPhones so I wanted to share them with you guys just in case you guys didn't know about them either because trust me some of them are life-changing and you're gonna want to know how to do them also super quickly if you're not already following my Instagram go follow me and comment on one of my pictures that you were coming from my video and I try to follow as many of you guys back as possible because I really love becoming friends with you guys and just meeting new people and making new friends on the internet so definitely go ahead over there and say hey because i love to interact with you guys now that that's all out of the way let's just get right into it i'm going to be covering things that were added to the camera iMessage your home screen widget sound recognition and just a bunch more things that i had no idea were even added to this update so make sure you stay tuned first feature that i'm going to be going over is the ones that were added to the camera and your photos so this one in particular was very exciting for me because i really love to take pictures i like to keep my instagram up to date and i really just love capturing my life on camera so if you guys are similar to me in that aspect you're going to be very happy with these new features i personally have the iphone 11 so this is just what it looks like on my phone i'm pretty sure all phones should be the same so when you first open up the camera you will see an arrow pointing upwards and if you click on that you get a whole menu of things that you can do on both front camera and back camera you can adjust the size of the frame that you want you can turn on flash you can turn on live photos you could edit the exposure of your face without even taking the picture first so i think that's really cool you could like edit the lighting if you're in a super dark place you could do front camera timer camera you can do the you know filters that they've already had for quite a while also when you slide over to video at the top corner you can now alter the resolution of your video which is basically how good the quality of the video is going to be in the top right corner so that's just something that you can decide pick whichever resolution you want to do I know that the 4K 61 is the one with the best resolution and your picture will just come out much smoother and more clear. But then the other newest features for the camera, you have to actually go into settings, find the tab that says the camera app, click on that and then it'll show you a few other settings that you can adjust and utilize for your camera. So my favorite one that they just came out with is the ability to now turn on prioritizing faster shooting. So obviously when you click on the camera and you scroll down, you will see it says prioritize faster shooting and you just turn that on because now once you take pictures it'll just take them much faster and let's say you're like posing or something it'll take a lot more pictures and capture literally every movement of your posing so you'll you know get the best picture that you possibly can which i know some girls out there will very much appreciate that so definitely make sure you turn that on and the other one which was literally a lifesaver like i am so happy that they added this one was that you can now mirror your front camera so i don't know about you guys but i used to hate the front camera on the iPhone because it would always flip your picture after you took it and your face would just look inverted and it would just look weird. So now when you go into the camera folder on settings, you can now turn on the one that says mirror front camera and now your pictures will look exactly how it looks when you're taking the picture. So I really, really appreciate that one. The next feature that we're going to be going over is the ones that were added to iMessage. Now in your iMessages, you can slide whatever chat you want to the right and click pin and now you can pin that message or that contact that you're always texting. I feel like everybody has a few people that you text on a daily basis and you want to always keep it at the top so it's just easy to just, you know, text them. So now you can pin group chat and just anybody at the top of your screen and I'm pretty sure you can pin up to nine contacts. I think that's just a cool little feature that I haven't really seen anybody be talking about. So yeah, now you can pin conversations and have them all the way at the top every single time no matter what. So now we're going to discuss a few things about the home screen. I know I mentioned 
mentioned a lot of things that you can do to your home screen in my last iOS video but I'm just going to touch upon a few other things just in case it wasn't clear and some other things that I just personally learned within the last few days you can now hide your home screen which I really really like so if you guys didn't know that you could do that all you have to do is just hold down your home screen and until your apps start to shake and at the bottom you will see all the dots that signify each one of your home screens and you just click on that to see all of your home screens as like an overview and then you can just unclick the ones that you want to hide but also something that I didn't really know that you could also hide individual apps by just sending them over to your app library if you guys don't know what the app library is now when you when you scroll all the way to the right after all your home screens a app library will appear with all the apps that you have downloaded on your phone and they put them all into these really helpful categories so that you could easily find them and you could also search whatever app you're looking for at the top and they're all in alphabetical order so it's just super useful so if you want to hide any of your apps from your home screen all you do is just hold down the apps until they shake again click on the app that you want and it'll give you an option that says move to app library so you just click on that and then that app will be hidden from your home screen if there's any random app that you don't want to just look at all the time you could just move it to your library and same goes for if there's any app in your app library that you want to then put back onto your home screen hold it down and then it'll be dragged back to your home screen another thing I wanted to mention is a few more things that you can do with the widget again I mentioned how to add widgets to your home screen in my last video using the apps widget smith and color widget but if you don't want to download those apps and you just want to use you know the widgets that already came with your iPhone that is perfectly fine and there's really really great ones so literally all you do is you just hold down the home screen until your apps start to shake and you click the plus sign that's at the top of your phone I know some phones are different and the plus sign will be somewhere else on the top of your phone but you should see a plus sign somewhere once you click on it a bunch of different widgets will pop up and you can pick between you know your notes calendar the weather app block it'll show you your screen time activity if you want to know more about how to customize the colorful ones and like picture ones and stuff like that definitely go ahead over and watch my last video I'll have it linked somewhere in this video and I will also have it linked down in my description box I do want to touch upon the fact that we could also do a smart stack smart stack is basically multiple widgets stacked on top of each other when it is on your home screen it'll look like just one widget you could just scroll it a little bit and you'll see the different widgets which on your home screen so after I press the plus button and I have all the options of my widgets at the top or somewhere it should say smart stack so once you click on that it'll give you the different options of like sizes of whatever sizes you want your widget to be you can do a small a medium or a large I usually like to stick with the small ones or the medium ones you just pick whichever size you want and you click add widgets and it'll just straight away be added to your home screen and then to edit what is in your specific stack just click on the widget again until the little menu bar pops up and click edit stack so now it'll show you all of the different things that you'll be able to see in that one widget and you could customize the order you want to see it in and then once it's on your home screen and you edited the order of your stack and what you wanted in the stack you could literally just light roll it on your home screen and it's just like so cool you could just see a bunch of stuff in that one widget and it's not taking up a bunch of space so I think smart stacks are a great thing for people who don't want all these different widgets on their home screen and they want it to look just nice and neat and clean and have everything in one place so that may be something that interests you okay now the next feature is something that I also just learned recently I think it's like actually such a great idea so this feature is called sound recognition so all you have to do is go into your settings and click control center you will have a bunch of different options that you could add to your control center and you just click on the one that says sound recognition which if you guys don't know where that is it's basically when you scroll down you have like that menu of like all your just controls that you can do so now when you go on there you will now see that the sound recognition icon was added to your control center click on it and it'll give you a bunch of different options of like different sounds so like your doorbell a baby crying door knocking let's say you're like in your backyard or something and your front door is ringing your phone will pick up that noise and alert it to you so maybe you won't be able to hear it or you won't notice it but your phone will give you an alert that that is going on so I think it's just so cool that our technology can do something like that so I think that that's a very cool feature that they added on and it definitely can help a lot of people and can potentially save someone's life and now the last features that we're going to be talking about is the new options that we have in accessibility so basically what that is is just like different commands that you could 
have your phone do. The newest feature is that you can now double tap the back of your phone or triple tap the back of your phone and you can set it to have a different command. So if you wanna double tap to screenshot something, you could set your phone to do that or triple tap to lock your phone. You can do that too. So go into your settings, go down to accessibility, click on that, then click on touch and then scroll all the way down until back tap and click on that. And then it'll give you the two options, whether you want it to be a double tap or a triple tap. And then once you click on either one of those, you can just scroll down and see all of the different options that you can do for it. So if you want to set it so that when you double tap, you screenshot something, just scroll down until you see the word screenshot and click on that. So you can set the different commands for whichever taps you want to be. So now if I go back to my home screen and I double tap the back of my phone, it'll take a screenshot for me. And if you want to, you could just try it out. And if you don't really like it, you could always just take it off. So yeah, those are just a few new features that I have learned about in the past few days. Hope you guys enjoyed and this was helpful in some way or another. Again, thank you guys so, so much for all the love on my last video. Definitely comment down below any other video ideas you have for me. And if you want me to do any more iPhone videos, definitely let me know. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see